Type 1 diabetes, also known as juvenile diabetes or insulin-dependent diabetes, is a chronic condition in which the pancreas produces little or no insulin. The human body depends on insulin, which is a hormone needed to allow glucose to enter cells to produce energy. There are different factors, including genetics and some viruses, which may contribute to type 1 diabetes. Although this chronic illness usually appears in adults, President of the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago, Andrew Dano, told Health Check it is also known to develop in children. It isn't caused by lifestyle. It isn't caused by the things you may associate diabetes with. It, it's, it's an autoimmune condition and it affects or it, it, it manifests very early in life. So you may have children from as young as a few months old to adults under the age of 30 uh, developing type 1 diabetes and then they have to live with this, that, with this, this condition for the rest of their lives. Mr. Danu explained that signs and symptoms of type 1 diabetes can appear suddenly. Children may be normal, uh, meaning that they may be healthy uh, and then over the course of a few days they get very sick. The classic signs of type 1 diabetes would be one, the child may feel very thirsty. So all of a sudden, the child is feeling very, very thirsty. This means that because the child is going to feel very thirsty, they're going to drink more water, and then they want to pee more. And for very young children, it means that they may start wetting the bed. So if a child has never really wet the bed or hasn't been wetting the bed in a long time, and they start to do that, that's one of the signs that they may well, you, you need to check them. You need to take them to your doctor and check them because they may be a, a warning sign. Children may also feel very tired. They may lose weight very quickly. And this is uh, this, these are the four main signs of or indicators that we need to take them to get tested. Over time, type 1 diabetes complications can start to affect major organs in your body, including heart, blood vessels, nerves, eyes and kidneys. In this regard, discipline and family support are key to managing the disease. Because that is where it is most important. Taking care of diabetes, not just type 1, but type 2 diabetes, is really a family effort. Um, and if the family effort isn't significant, then we see that the control isn't, um, it isn't there. The Diabetes Association president explained that maintaining a normal blood sugar level can reduce the risk of many complications. For a child living with type 1 diabetes, it doesn't mean that they can no longer eat sweets or candies or anything. It means that they just need to monitor, either them or their parents need to monitor how much they consume, and when they consume it, and, 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 and match it with the insulin that they, 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 they would inject. Um, so it's not that it's is that they can no longer have certain things, is that they is rather that they have to manage and monitor how much carbohydrates each of those foods have and then counteract it by, by, by looking at the amount of insulin that they, they, they are going to take. Join us next week for Health Check when we take a look at type 2 diabetes, its signs and treatment. With your TTT News Health Check, I am Crystal Wilson.